Hello, I'm Dr. Lee Guanhui. I'm a hepatologist working in the National University Hospital. I have been looking after liver patients for the past 15 years, including uh, many patients with liver cancer. Today, I'll be sharing more about liver. Let's start with L, liver function. What is the function of the liver? The liver actually has more than 500 different functions that helps to keep our body healthy. Amongst the many functions, the most important ones are it uh, controls the digestion and the storage of important nutrition like fats, sugar and vitamins. It synthesizes many different proteins uh, including the uh, proteins that uh, allows the blood to clot. It actually um, uh, detoxifies the various uh, toxins uh, and alcohol that gets into the body. It uh, actually uh, removes the waste products through making bowel. And very importantly as well, it filters off all the bacteria that enters the body through the intestines. The next is I, identify causes. What are the causes of liver cancer? The top three causes of liver cancer in Singapore are chronic hepatitis B, uh, alcohol, and fatty liver disease. And in the past, hepatitis C was also another important cause that are now mostly controlled. Next is B, vulnerability. Which are the groups of patients who are most vulnerable to liver cancer? The patients who are most vulnerable to liver cancer include those who have hepatitis B for many, many years, those who develop liver cirrhosis due to any other causes. Once they develop liver cirrhosis, their risk of getting liver cancer uh, is increased by over 104. Hepatitis B is a virus that is uh, already very common in the society. It is transmitted by blood and uh, sexual uh, interaction. Very often, it's transmitted from mother to child at birth and then later on when there is any contact by, like a needle stick like through uh, intravenous drug use or even uh, activities like tattooing or receiving any blood products that are contaminated. The another up and rising cause for liver cirrhosis in Singapore is fatty liver disease. As the lifestyle changes and the diet changes progressively takes over, I think this is going to be more and more common. Fatty liver disease, on the other hand, is a combination of a lifestyle problem, having uh, gained weight by eating too much or exercise too little. Uh, there is clearly also a genetic component to it as well, as some families are more prone to it. These same individuals are usually more likely to get conditions like diabetes, cholesterol, or high blood pressure at the same time as well. Next is E, early detection. How do we detect liver cancer early? Right now, the best way to screen for liver cancer is through regular ultrasound scan of the liver as well as a tumour marker test uh, called alpha fetoprotein. When a patient has been diagnosed with chronic hepatitis B or liver cirrhosis, the doctor will usually recommend to carry out the scan and the blood test every six months. The hope is that we can pick up the tumour and when it's still very small and at that stage, it can actually be cured. The risk is that if they don't pick up early, by the time they develop symptoms, usually the liver tumour is already very big. The chance of getting cure or long-term survival becomes increasingly low. When such family history exists, we will actually screen the individual family members for risk factors. If the senior member who got the disease uh, got it through hepatitis B. Then the family should all be screened for hepatitis B. If they don't have, then they don't actually share the same risk as the father, for example. Last but not least, R for recovery. What are the support groups out there that will help in the journey towards recovery? No doubt the diagnosis of liver cancer is very daunting. One should not think of it as uh, hopeless. In fact, uh, the liver cancer treatment has been getting better and better over the years. In Singapore, um, there are many support groups available uh, that can provide uh, many of the information, sharing of patient experiences, as well as garner other support for affected patients. One example will be the 365 uh, Cancer Society, the Singapore Cancer Society, Singapore Liver Cancer Support Group, 
the NCIS and NCSS actually has a number of patient support groups for this group of patients as well, such as AIN Society and others. I would strongly encourage any liver cancer patients to approach uh, these support groups to get information and uh, uh, find other resources that can help them along the journey.